for his service. Well, the head of the Kansas Highway Patrol has announced his retirement plans. Colonel Herman Jones will end his 45 years in law enforcement this summer. He is with us today as our guest here on Ion Northeast Kansas. Colonel, good to see you. Dave, it's good, be, good I'm, to be I'm here. I'm glad you're here. Let's talk about, we're going to talk about several issues today, sure. but first your retirement. You're going to retire coming up on July 1st. Yeah. Let me ask you what led to that decision. There's been some public uh, concerns and some outcries, right. if you will, regarding uh, the way your department's been handled. Right. And there's been some talk about retaliatory uh, determinations, mm -hmm. harassment allegations. You've got the Attorney General's office that, and other lawmakers suggesting perhaps your office should be under the control of the AG, not the right. governor's office. A lot of different factors at play here. What led to your decision? You know, it was with all of those things that were going on, uh, when, I, when I took the, uh, the helm of, of superintendent there, it was just uh, the governor was wanting the agency to move in a different direction. And, and by doing that, obviously, there are some people that, that have some, some, some differences with that. And so we go along with that, uh, with allegations that come up. It has a court process. We let that go through. Uh, there are individuals that have different opinions about how we manage. Uh, I think I had a, a strong, and I still do, have a strong management team that are taking that agency in the right direction right there. But, but my retirement, 45 years, mm -hmm. it, it was just time. It sure. was just time. It's, uh, uh, I've got two grandkids, want to do some traveling, those type of things right there. So that was my decision, and I pushed it out to July just to do it in the middle of the year, those type of things. And right we there. should mention Governor Kelly has been a staunch supporter oh, of you yes. and your uh, handling of the department and the patrol, uh, and also has said numerous times she is not in favor of the auspices of the Highway Patrol being under right. the, the AG's office. So you've had that in your corner oh, as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Since, I mean, 1937, our, our agency has been established, moving uh, just well down the road, and it's well established throughout the nation. Sure. One of the things I know you've got to focus on is recruitment issues sure. within the Highway Patrol. You've got to get more folks who are wanting to uh, protect and serve, if you mm -hmm. will. Talk about those efforts and, and, the, and the challenge that you have faced in terms of trying to get more recruits to sign on. Yeah. So, uh, I, I mean, that's a great topic. That's been on our mind for, for some time now. And that what we saw, particularly COVID, Everyone saw the difference of COVID where individuals departed from their workplace, uh, working virtually and those type of things right there. Obviously, the highway patrol is very difficult to try and do that, but we need bodies. Right. And, and what we're seeing is that there are, there's a, a, a great uh, a change of individuals that do not want to go into public service. And so it's not just public service, not just state, it's the private sector as well. So our challenge is how do we gain individuals coming to law enforcement? How do we attract that? And, and obviously so, it, a lot of times it comes down to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some people that don't wanna take on the challenges of law enforcement for the pay that we receive. And I've always told individuals coming in law enforcement, uh, if you're coming in law enforcement, get rich, wrong, wrong career. Mm -hmm. It really is. We're here for service. Uh, for the people, servitude, uh, selfless acts, those type of things right there. So what we've done, we've changed our, our, our avenues, how we go about recruiting. Mm -hmm. uh, we've changed the process of trying to shorten it down. Uh, we've got full-time recruiters where we didn't have it before and even adjunct uh, 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 recruiters. We've changed our website to make it more tr attractive but also informative about what our, ag our agency is all about. Okay. So a lot going on, obviously. we got about 45 seconds. Sure. Just tell our viewers real fast what you all are doing in terms of some upcoming enforcement on area yes. roads, specifically for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, so we, we, St. Patrick's Day and spring break. Yeah. Those are times where joyous times, but we want to make sure the highways are safe. So we remind individuals to make sure that they're, they're drinking responsibly, get a designated driver, uh, and plan ahead. We will have officers out there during that time, basically from... March 12th through the March 18th, so it comes to those, both of those times, spring break and St. Patty's Day. Okay, Colonel Herman Jones with the Highway Patrol, you thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, David, appreciate, appreciate your it. time and we're glad you were here today and we'll, you we'll catch you again before July 1st. You bet. Okay, we've got more on the way here today. The Shawnee County Historical Society has a show and tell event coming up this weekend. We're gonna show you more about that, plus some unique artifacts you might see there next.